Disney Cruise or Disney Parks. We're definitely park people. We love going to Disney World. We love navigating the transportation system to figure out the best way to hit Tower of Terror and Rise of the Resistance and then get on the monorail to go and make it to Soarin'. We love it. We love all that stuff. I mean, Disney parks are super fun. We went three times in a year. We are just diehard parks people. But then we went on a Disney cruise and had a great time and really, really enjoyed our trip. And afterwards, I had to ask myself, do I like the Disney cruise or do I like the Disney parks? Well, the answer is I love both of them, but which one do I like more? It was a tough question, and on this video, I'm gonna go through the things that got me to my decision of which one I enjoy more. So let me just give you a broad overview of the differences in the experience, because they're completely different experiences. So to say one is better than the other is very much my opinion, because they're very different. When you go to a Disney park, it is just level 10 events and attractions, right? Riding Rise of the Resistance is an experience that you're not gonna find on a cruise. Walking up to that castle and getting pictures of the kids or your family or you and your loved one in front of the castle, that moment, something you're not gonna get on a Disney cruise. But Disney cruises are so relaxing and there's so much less stress, there's so much less waiting in line, there's so much less of that planning, which I enjoy the planning, but there's so much less of that on a Disney cruise. And they're just two totally different experiences. Disney parks is high level excitement attractions and just these, these major memory things to do, which comes with a lot of planning, a lot of stress, a lot of waiting in line, a lot of running around to accomplish it. Disney Cruise has characters in there all the time. So there's these magical little moments, but they're little moments. You know, they're magical little moments. And they've got the kids club where the kids run around and play with all these amazing things like the Millennium Falcon simulator that the kids can play on and all the other fun stuff. Uh, but they're just smaller things, but more of them and more relaxing and less waiting in line. So two very different things, but I wanna dive into some really pro cons of all of them. So first thing, let's talk about service. The service on a Disney cruise is better than the service at Disney World. I'll come right out and say it. I love being in the Disney World bubble and the service there is good and we always enjoy it. But in the last couple of years, I feel like it's gone from great to good. You know, when you get on the Disney cruise, I think it's because the cast members have a smaller amount of people and it's a tighter experience. They're probably not getting hit with all the negative things that cast members probably get hit with working at Disney World. The service is just better. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. Service is definitely better at the Disney cruise. And because it's a smaller thing than Disney World, they can put together a better experience, a smoother experience, a more seamless experience than you can at the Disney park. So service, Disney Cruise wins. Now let's talk about dining. Dining at Disney World is an amazing adventure of lots of different restaurants to navigate and pick from and try to book reservations at. There's a whole strategy behind your Disney World dining experience. And guess what? The restaurants can be very good. They have some fantastic restaurants at Disney World. Morimoto and Citrico's are two of my favorite restaurants at Disney World. Disney Cruise has less restaurants because obviously it's just one boat and they're all good. Like all the restaurants are good. The buffet is good. The food is good. The service at the restaurants is great. I think the service at the restaurants is better than the service at Disney World. But the food is like a higher end Disney meal but it's not as good, I think, as the best restaurants in Disney. That food and experience I get at Citrico's and Morimoto was just a little bit better than what we had at Paolo, which is one of the higher-end restaurants on the Disney cruise. And all the food was good. What I liked about dining on the Disney cruise was the lack of stress around 
booking reservations or, you know, making sure that you could get to the restaurant on time because you were waiting in line for Tower of Terror, but you know you had a restaurant reservation that you had to get to. Like, none of that stuff was in play. And so the service was better. The relaxation of not having to, to book and, and reserve and all that fun stuff was easier. The food was consistently good, but the best food at Disney World definitely beats the best food on a Disney cruise. And so dining, Disney World wins on options and fun and different things that you can do there. There's so many different options to pick from. Disney Cruise wins on better service and just consistently good food. Next, let's talk about fun for kids. So we're going to talk about fun for kids and fun for adults. We're going to put them right together. These don't need to be two separate topics. So on the fun for kids side, when I look at Disney World, my daughter loves going on Tower of Terror. And so that Tower of Terror experience is awesome. But she also has to wait in line for Tower of Terror. And then we have to walk all the way to Rise of the Resistance, which is another ride we love. But when I think about it, Disney Cruise was probably more fun for her because there was less of that downtime and less of that walking around and all that fun stuff. So Disney Cruise, I think, wins in the fun for kids on a large scale. They don't have as many of the fun attractions, but just overall, I think our kids had more fun on the Disney Cruise, especially with Castaway K. I mean, she loves the beach, so she was there all day. And a day at Castaway K, I think beats any day at the park. It just does. And I'm, I'm somebody that loves the park, but sitting on the beach, Castaway K, as long as the weather is good, is fantastic. And then fun for adults. You know, the big reason why fun for adults, and I can asterisk this with fun for parents, the big reason why Disney Cruise wins on fun for adults is the kids club. Being able to drop Alice off at kids club, I mean, she was excited to go. She wanted to go. And then that allowed us to have a night to ourselves and, and go see a show, go to a restaurant on a date, which for some of you parents out there, right, sounds crazy to actually be able to go on a date on a Disney vacation. And so, you know, if Disney World had built in babysitting, a giant, amazing kids club that my kid wanted to go to and I could drop them off and then go to Citrico's, you know, that would be a huge, huge win, but they don't and they do on the Disney Cruise and it's included and they have great cast members there that are playing with the kids. It's amazing for kids and it makes it amazing for parents to be able to drop their kid off there and then go have fun at all the different bars, restaurants, shows. I mean, so much there's, I don't, I don't say there's so much stuff to do because there's not as much stuff to do as if you were in Disney World, but there's plenty to do. You will not have nothing to do on a Disney cruise. And so I think it's more fun for kids and more fun for adults being on the Disney cruise. So if you're watching this video and you've gotten this far, you're probably getting the hint of which one I liked better. We liked the Disney cruise better. We all agreed as a family that it wasn't an easy decision because we still love the parks. We love the adventure of the parks. The parks are a giant adventure, but the Disney cruise is just too much more relaxing and too much fun to have it be better than the parks. And for us, I think we run around so much in our life and, and so much of our life is all over the place that going on vacation and just being able to relax a little bit more is better for us. When we go to a Disney park, we go from running around in our life to running around even more on our Disney World vacation. Uh, and a lot of that stress and everything else, I don't know, it's just not what I think we need in a family vacation. So we are looking at booking another Disney cruise and we're also going on a Royal Caribbean cruise. And so we'll be able to tell you the difference of whether or not Disney Cruise is worth the money compared to Royal Caribbean. So look, if you haven't ever gone on a cruise, I will say this. Disney Cruise is definitely a good first cruise to go on because you know the service is going to be of a Disney level. And if you have kids, there's like the Disney princesses and characters are out every night. The kids club is amazing and it's much more geared towards taking care of families, but it is much more expensive than a Royal Caribbean cruise. You can do the same type of cruise on Royal Caribbean 
for like 60% of the price, right? I mean, it's not even close on price. But if it's your first time cruising and you're a little nervous about cruising, doing a Disney cruise just to know that it's going to be a good time could be a benefit to you. That's what we did. But now we're going to go try Royal and we'll let you know how it goes.